Okay, so suppose we are ventilating a patient on very high PEEP like 14, 16 or 12 for that matter. And now the patient is improving and we are weaning the patient. And now in the first step, you have come down on FiO2 to 50%, below 50%. And uh, your I ratio has also come down to 1 is to 2 or 1 is to 3 for that matter. And in the last step, you want to decrease the PEEP. So suppose it is on 16, you will come down to 14 and then you will come down to 12. Now the question is, when you come down from 16 to 14, so from 14 to 12, how much fast it should be done? Suppose we have uh, 16 peep, uh, this hour, and now I, now I change it to 14. So after how many hours, next hour or 5, 6 hours, or how much time we should go to 12 for that matter? We decrease in increments of 2 if we are doing it. So understand that the PEEP is positive end expiratory pressure and it is keeping the alveoli open at the end of expiration because of that pressure alveoli are not collapsing. Now when you decrease the PEEP from 16 to 14, when, it, when the lung is recovering in the weaning stage, because of the decrease in the PEEP, if it is, if suppose the lung has not recovered completely and some alveoli tends to collapse at that PEEP because that 14 PEEP is not optimal, it will not happen uh, very fast. It will not, the alveoli will not collapse very fast because they are in an improving sta uh, stage. While this happens very fast when we are initially ventilating the patient which is in the disease stage or acute stage. But when we are weaning the patient, the lung is in the recovery stage and if the PEEP from 16 to 14 is suboptimal, the alveoli will tend to collapse because for some time they resist the collapsing, but they start collapsing. So usually after four to six hours, you will see a drop in the uh, saturations or PO2 in the blood gas. So, and if, if it doesn't drop, then means that uh, uh, decrease P14 or PEEP is optimal. So the uh, ideal uh, condition, you should wait at least four to six hours, but technically for a safer side, at least 12 hours should be the uh, time difference between the change of PEEP when you are decreasing from 16 to 14, wait for 12 hours. And if the saturation PO2 okay, then you can think of from decreasing from 14 to 12. So this is the way it should uh, go. Even if you even you can keep it for 24 hours also from 16 to uh, 14 for 12 hours and then 14 after that if everything goes well you can decrease uh, to 12 but at least 12 hours you should keep this is the way it should be so this is very important so do read more about it thank you